Hey everybody, welcome into the Mariners post game um, for game number 74 today. A very eventful uh, two to one loss to the uh, Angels today. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time breaking down the game. In fact, I don't even think I'm really actually going to talk about the game. I mean, the Mariners, if you watched it, obviously you saw the brawl, the ejections. So you know the Mariners were without Julio Rodriguez, J.P. Crawford, Jesse Winker. They're already without Ty France. Um, Cal Raleigh had the day off. So a lineup that was, you know, had Drew Smith at third base. Um, Toro ended up coming in playing shortstop. Um, your outfield was Trammell, Upton, and Frazier. Um, Dylan Moore, Kevin Padlow, and Luis Torrens did not manage to put up um, a ton of runs. Not super surprised by that. Did look like they had a chance to win it. Toro Homer to start off the sixth inning. Marco pitched really well. Andres Munoz gave up a, a broken bat base hit to McKinnon that ended up, um, you know, being the difference in two to one. The Angels were able to, you know, hold down the Mariners again without much firepower in that lineup. Just, you know, they were able to lock it down. Um, you know, I can say the lineup was bad, and it was. The game still counts. Mariners fall to 34 and 40. Um, they do head home for a seven-game homestand beginning tomorrow with Baltimore. Obviously, some suspensions probably coming down. Um, it might not be tomorrow. Sometimes these things take a couple days to be reviewed, um, but we'll see what happens. I do want to get into and talk about the brawl, and that's going to be the majority of this video. I'm going to keep it pretty short. Um, I don't want to go on forever about it. I'm going to try being as fair as possible about it. I am a Mariners fan, so I'm coming from a place where the Mariners are my team. Um, so I'm going to have some favoritism, some bias, as most people are. Um, but I will try and be as fair as possible about what happened. Um, for those of you that don't know, there's been some kind of, I guess, bad blood building up. Uh, last Friday, um, Angels pitcher Michael Lorenzen hit Justin Upton in the head with a pitch. It was not intentional. I do not think it was intentional. I don't think anybody in the Mariners did. I don't think anybody in the Angels thought it was intentional. Um, yesterday, uh, Eric Swanson, I talked about it in my post-game video, came very high and tight on Mike Trout. Um, it, I don't understand how that would be intentional. It did not look intentional at all. Swanson was struggling with his control. Um, you know, and thankfully it did not hit Mike Trout in the head, as I said in my post-game video yesterday. And after the game, Mike Trout made some comments pretty much saying, hey, if you can't throw high and tight, then don't do it. Um, you know, if you want to hit me, hit me in the ribs. Again, I, I know they did end up walking Trout, but I, I can't imagine that was intentional at all um, to hit him. Um, and this is where I'll be fair. I get Trout being upset. A ball was this close to hitting, maybe not that close, but that close to hitting him in the head at 95 miles per hour. I understand being frustrated about that. Um, and for Mike Trout, a guy that's been walked a lot and put on base a lot um, and, and not been able to hit a ton probably, um, he's probably a bit frustrated by that. So I do understand that. I think Mike Trout... He didn't come out and, you know, say that Eric Swanson's calm names. He said what he said. I don't agree with it because I don't think, I just think Swanson didn't have the command last night, but I, I get the anger. So the Angels announced that Jose Suarez would be the starter today um, and then ended up going with the opener uh, once um, to make the start. Obviously, I think everybody kind of knew what was going to happen. And the second batter of the game, once threw behind Julio and warnings were issued. Uh, the Umps should have had warnings issued before the game. Um, they kind of mentioned they didn't think anything of that Trout thing last night, which does go to show, again, that I don't think it was intentional. But all the signs pointed to this meaning something. And they didn't issue any warnings, so the issues were then warned. Were then The, the warnings were then issued after once through behind Julio. Well, come to the top of the second inning, the opener wants still in there, and he hits Jesse Winker in the back. Um, it looks like it's going to be calm. Winker's going to first. And then it looks like somebody from the Angels dugout, maybe Anthony Rendon, I'm not sure, said something. Winker, Winker, Winker went off and the brawl ensued. And it was a melee, which ended up resulting in um, several eight ejections total. Both managers gone. I know for the Mariners, it was J.P. Crawford who came in throwing some haymakers. Uh, Jesse Winker, who had an, a little parting gift for the uh, fans as well on his way out. Um, and Julio, uh, he said he wasn't sure why he was ejected. I, I'm not sure either. Um, uh, crew chief Adrian Johnson said it'd be in the report. So I don't know. We'll see. And then, um, 
Scott Service was tossed as well for the Angel. I know Phil Nevin was tossed. Um, Rysel Iglesias, who just out of nowhere threw a thing of sunflower seeds on the field. I'm not sure what that was about. Um, but he was tossed. Ryan Tapera wants the pitcher. And I think that's it. So my as unbiased as I can be thoughts on it is that I, I, I didn't really understand the Angels going for all the retaliation. Uh, I, I certainly understand standing up for Mike Trout um, in, in certain situations, um, but I don't think there's any intent in Swanson. I thought they were a little high and out high on Julio. I know it went behind him, but I thought the pitch almost said Julio was a little too high, um, and it should have ended right there. Like, okay, you know, they obviously were targeting Julio because they could have thrown at Crawford, didn't do that, and then they went after Julio. And then the opener was clearly someone that they were willing, kind of an enforcer in hockey, someone they were willing to have thrown out of the game. Um, you know, and with, with Wants, and they brought Suarez in after he hit Winker. You know, I, I always try and see both sides of it, and I certainly, everybody's going to defend their team, and I'm going to defend the Mariners on this. I, I, I know where that anger and frustration came from them. Maybe Jesse Winker could have held back a little bit, and, and you know, not so much for anything to it today, but avoiding a suspension. Um, and it's a shame because Winker's probably going to end up getting the biggest suspension from this. But it, it was clear what the Angels were doing. I mean, Phil Nevin, obviously. And then when the brawl happened, if you notice, Trout and Otani are nowhere near the brawl. All the guys on the Angels that were in the brawl were relievers that if they get kicked out, they might not have pitched today anyways. And some coaching guys, or Anthony Rendon, who's out for the season. So... You know, if you just look at it at face value and Jesse Winker getting hit and going after the Angels like that, I would say Winker's in the wrong. But when you take it all into context and everything, and you factor in that Justin Upton was hit in the head, literally hit in the head last week, and there was no retaliation from the Mariners about it, I, I, I think the Angels overreacted here a little bit. I don't think there was a reason to, you know, I don't think there's a reason for any of it. Um, and I, I do get protecting Mike Trout. I, I certainly understand that. And I even said, I understand Trout's frustration. Listen, I don't care intention or not. You have 95 going right here. You're going to be upset. We saw Bryce Harper and Blake Snell last night in the Phillies Padres game. Harper knew it wasn't intentional from Snell, but he was still, he was still frustrated by it. Um, you know, and calmed down, but it, it's understandable to be frustrated, but to have a whole day to plan this, and then just the, the kind of Bush League stuff of it, I think. It's just, you, you threw behind Julio. That should have been it right there. Like, okay, you sent your message. You know, no one got hurt. Message received. Let's move on and play a game. Um, but I will say this, you know, brawls certainly, you know, are, are I don't want to say, they, they can be fun. I mean, it's, you know, a little old school, a little old school baseball. Uh, never hurt anybody. Um, well, I shouldn't say that it can, people can get hurt, but just from the aspect of the brawl itself. So certainly an eventful game, um, probably overshadowed the game itself. And I'm not trying to be biased. I'm trying to say, I'm trying to be very fair. I, I will call it the Mariners when I think they're dumb, which can be very often. My, my sports teams have a history of being dumb. In 2008, if some of you remember that, uh, the Rangers case and Gabbard threw up high on Richie Sexton. It was almost in the strike zone, but up, it was just up high, and Sexton charged the mound out of nowhere on Gabbard. And I couldn't believe what Sexton was doing. The pitch was even close to his face. It was clearly just to try and start something for a really bad Mariners team in 2008. Um, you know, it was clearly just done to get the team going, which I get sometimes you got to do certain things. I know sometimes managers will get tossed to get the team rolling a little bit. And I thought Sexton was stupid in 08 for that. The pitch was nowhere near him. And I thought it was stupid. I thought the Mariners were in the wrong for the most part. And today, I, I think the Angels were in the wrong in this scenario. Again, I, I, I don't mad at Mike Trout for um, being mad about the pitch. Um, while I don't think it was intentional, I understand the frustration. But, you know, if you're someone like Justin Upton, you got to be sitting there going, man, I took one off the head. And now we're getting thrown at. So, you know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. I, I hope it's done. I, I know it makes for entertaining TV. And you might get a little better ratings on the next time these two teams play. And it does make it a little more fun in that aspect with the rivalry. But I, I hope it's done. I mean, it, what's happened has happened. You know, it's a shit. At the end of the day, like, I, I do not want to see 
what happened to Justin Upton, Upton happened. Someone taken off the head. I, I said last night, like, thank God that ball missed Mike Trout's head. I don't want to see Mike Trout get hit in the head and get hurt. He, he's a tremendous player and, and a joy to watch. I don't want to see that happen. And I don't want to see Julio get hit for something. Julio's a great young star, and, and, and they know they ended up hitting him, but it was up high. It could have, and I know the pitch that hit Winker wasn't exactly 100 miles per hour, but... You know, it, it can just lead to stuff that is unnecessary. Um, you know, if you really want revenge in sports, go win the game. And I guess to the Angels' credit, they did. They won the game. So, you know, that's probably the best revenge you can ever get on a team in any situation is beat them on the field. Someone's talking trash to you. If you're in football and defensive back, you're a wide receiver, defensive back's talking trash. You want him to stop? Beat them. You know, I bet Jerry Rice didn't have too much trash talk to him because he, he went out there and beat you. Um, but yeah, just kind of my thoughts on it, you know, a little bit scattered. Um, I, I, like I said, I try to be fair on it. I, I, I certainly do want to look at, at, you know, all sides of the angle there. Um, I do think it was a little ridiculous how the Angels went about it, though. Um, and I do understand the frustration of Maris. Fun story, someone ordered a pizza for Jesse Winker. I, I don't remember the name on Twitter, but she ordered... Um, a pizza for Jesse Winker. And then, you know, all Mariners Twitter pitched in and gave a tip to the um, Uber Eats or Postmates, whatever it was, driver that delivered the pizza to Angel Stadium. So I hope Jesse Winker got that pizza. And I hope the guys were in the, in the dug or in the clubhouse enjoying a pizza pie. Um, you know, unfortunately for the Mariners, it's going to lead to some suspension. So the lineup's going to be a little thin coming up here, and, and they've got seven games they really need to take advantage of with um, Baltimore and then four against Oakland coming up. Um, you know, and they could really use the bats and hopefully, you know, games they need to win. Another another seven-game stretch where th they need to go like five and two uh, to get back in this thing, which I think would actually put them, no, that would be them at 39 and 42. So get them back close to 500. So, um. As far as baseball is concerned, like the most important thing here is the Mariners finish up a five and one road trip. Um, they took two out of three in the series. Again, you know, it stinks that they lose the last one, but had they lost Friday, let's say this was the Friday game, and then, you know, Friday's game was yesterday, and then yesterday's game was today, we'd all be super happy about this series, going, man, what a road trip for the M's. Like, and they finished up with two straight wins. Um, it's always unfortunate when you lose the last one, but. You know, it happens. So a great road trip for the guys, 5-1. and one. Um, Even today with that literal, literally a triple-A lineup, you know, Marco gave up the home run to Renjifo, which was a good pitch. Renjifo just went down and got it, change up, golfed it out. And then uh, McKinnon had a broken bat single. They were close. They almost did it one to nothing with that lineup. And it would have been a sweet victory, I'm not going to lie, had they done it. Um, you know, but yeah, that lineup was just not good enough to get you maybe one or two runs and it just, it just couldn't. So not much to say in the game today. Marco was good. Bullpen was fine. Lineup was filled with triple A, four A players and it showed. Um, so hopefully they bounce back tomorrow. Um, who's going tomorrow? Is it Kirby tomorrow? Are we back to Kirby already? I think it is George. Yeah. George Kirby will go tomorrow for the Mariners. Uh, strong start in Oakland. Hopefully you can get another good start. Crazy game today. Crazy brawl. If you haven't seen it, go check out the video. It, it certainly is an entertaining uh, moment if you're an unbiased fan. Um, if you're a fan of either team, I'm sure you're going to defend your team. I get that. Angels fans are going to defend the Angels in it. I, I totally understand. I'm a Mariners fan. fan. I, I, I do think I'm coming for an unbiased spot. I'm not trying to just blindly defend the M's. Uh, but I do kind of think the Angels were in the wrong on this one. But, you know, at the end of the day, it, it doesn't really matter who's right or wrong. It happened. Um, hopefully it's done and we can get, just get back to baseball. Hopefully tomorrow we're just talking some baseball because I actually enjoy talking baseball more than talking about this. I just, I had to, I had to, you know, just, you couldn't do this game recap without talking about it. So, um, thank you guys all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you're new. I'm going to work on like a channel intro, hopefully help grow subscribers a little bit. Hopefully have that up this week sometime. Um, I might have a video up tomorrow, just kind of talking the state of the team, um, a little bit and um, go from there, and then we'll have a post-game recap uh, tomorrow night for the Mariners Orioles. Uh, thanks again for watching, and you guys have a great night. Guys and girls, have a great night, and as always, go M's.